back here inside Ray Fisher Stadium in Ann Arbor, Michigan, where we just witnessed the Indiana Hoosiers take down the 15th ranked Michigan Wolverines one to nothing. It was an enthusiastic win for the Hoosiers as we see there. And Tony Butler started things off with a home run. The rest of the story was Indiana's pitching staff. Yeah, we see here he takes it over towards that left center wall, had the wind blowing in his favor, but it was an absolute no-doubter. Off the second pitch of the game then, out of both pitching staffs, we saw 200 combined pitches without a run. Uh, Stever had an excellent performance on the mound for the Hoosiers. His day went seven innings pitched, set seven Ks and only one walk. We see him striking out a trio of Wolverines here, but not to be outdone, Oliver Jasky, despite giving up that first home run, finished the day with 6.2 innings pitch, five hits, that only one earned home run, and 10 strikeouts. But then, too bad there's not a staff for defensive gems because the Indiana Hoosiers pitching staff greatly benefit. You see Eustace right here running over, stealing away an extra basis hit. And then you see Didolo right here down the left field line with two outs in the bottom of the six. Mission could have got something going running. Got it going, but heck of a play there by the Hoosier defense. Big win for the Hoosiers. one nothing. your final score. That was Dalton Pataki. I'm Kevin Klein. Once again, your final score, Indiana 1, Michigan 0.